Uh, my name is Benji and I am a technical lead at Specto Labs and I am here to talk to you today about Hoverfly. Hoverfly is an open source project, you can check us out on, uh, on GitHub. Uh, it's written in Golang, it's uh, cross-platform. Uh, because it's Golang, it's quite performant, we get about 1,500 transactions per second and it's easy to install, all you need to do is put it on your path. And you can check it out on Docker Hub. So I realise I've explained this, like all the details, of it, apart from what it actually does. So Hotfly is a service virtualization tool, or you could call it an API simulation tool. So the idea is that you use it to capture uh, requests being sent by your application, so that you can then record the responses from its dependencies. So we can look at this diagram, and you can see that we've got some some kind of generic kind of like testing frameworks on the left here. We then got our application, which is in a, a Docker container. This is just a, an icon, not really important. Uh, and it's it's, the important bit is that it's talking to three different APIs. These APIs could be external. So for example, it could be like the Google Maps API, or it could be an internal API being used in your like microservice architecture. The problem with this, especially around like kind of service oriented architecture, is testing. Like when you're testing these applications, you end up either kind of like end up like mocking or stubbing out these kind of calls to your dependencies, or you end up kind of relying on an instance that's running in like a stage environment or like an external kind of testing sandbox, which isn't always great. So if we take the example, say this bottom API is a sandbox that's being provided, maybe it's like the eBay sandbox. What happens when that goes down? If you're relying on that for your tests, that's going to cause problems for your tests, and we don't want that. Your, your, your automated test suite is meant to run independently of any outside factors. So you might use something like stubbing or mocking to achieve this, but I don't think that's good enough. And the reason for that is when you put in this dummy code, you're not fully testing your application anymore. You're only testing up until the boundary. You're not actually testing the, the network communication that's going on. This is why you would use a service virtualization or an API simulation tool. By essentially recording all of, the, all of the traffic that would be sent to these APIs and then simulating it yourself, you now have the ability to control those APIs. So this is really important when you're kind of, you're testing the edge cases. We always write tests for kind of the happy case. It does what I want when it speaks to this thing. But if you're using an external API, how do you test what happens when that API is under load and isn't responding? Do you try and spin up an instance of that application and try and force it to be under load? Or do you use something like a service virtualization tool to essentially say this thing's under load and it's going to be throwing you know, 500 server errors every now and then? That way is way better at like, having control over what's going on in your automation tests. I think that's it.